friends. How the heck are you? Welcome back to the old Kiwi Farm. 7.02 at night this mid-autumn, mid-spring day, whatever way you want to look at it. I tell you what, things have been happening here <laughs> all day long. We, I have got a lot. I've got a lot to tell you. I've got a lot to tell you. But I am down on 52, just south of the farm, planting wheat in this field that Sarge got ready for me. Yeah, it didn't get cultivated. That's my fault. I feel bad about that, but oh well. We're going to let that one go. A little, little enhanced realism, as my friend OTD would say. But uh, we're getting wheat planted because today is the first day you can plant wheat, and we have got a lot of fields to plant. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you all about it. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to tell you all about it. I hope you enjoy what we did. Holy crap, this 328 Massey Ferguson is rocking and rolling here. Yeah, I certainly should have got it um, cultivated. But the GPS is working pretty good. We got wheat going in the ground, and everybody is working except Granny. Yeah, Granny, Granny thought that she is being overworked. She came to me and said, "I need another spa day." I said, "Holy crap, Granny! Really? Yep." So Granny had to go to the spa for the night, and then she was going to the pub. So Granny's Granny's gonna go have some rum and uh, relax and refresh herself for tomorrow. So she has been gone pretty much, uh, pretty much the day. Yep, she's been gone pretty much the day. That's okay. We can, uh, we can give it to her. We can give it to her. She's done, she's, am I okay? Oh yeah, I'm okay. She's done a fantastic job, so she needed a break. She was getting a little leery there, I think. She's getting a little, um, yep, a little leery. So what we got going on is I am on 52, getting the wheat into the ground. Today's the first day we can, we can plant that. I have got Sarge and Kiwi Bina in the four-wheel drives up on field four. They are getting that plowed up, ready to go for planting. So, and then Sophie, and I'll show you the map here. And Sophie is up on three, getting wheat planted in that field. We got our four crop rotation all figured out. We got our map made. So the two plows are going here, and there is Sophie planting wheat in field three. So, yeah, I'm telling you, we're, we're getting things done. We got all the corn done on field four. We got it all put in the silo. Uh, matter of fact, we now have 12,448 bushels of corn in the silo. Look at the price went down to below 16 bucks now, 1570. Highest I've seen it was about 17 and a half. So um, I also did, if you remember, when we left off last time, I, I maxed out the loan. I had 1.6 million. Yeah, I had like 1.6 million. Uh, I, I did a few things and <laughs> I, I, I spent about uh, $1,538,810 to be exact and I was left with 84904 I spent a little over $12,000 hiring Zeke down at Zeke's Mackey, Massey Ferguson to bring me a tractor and a plow. So he was doing some custom work for me. So I spent $11,000 doing that. So we are, we, we are, we're sitting pretty good. I got to be honest with you, we're sitting pretty good. Money-wise, not so good. Money-wise, no. Money-wise, not so good because we are $3 million in the hole again now. And I have uh, 71201 bucks in the El Banco. Now, I'm not too worried about it because I originally thought, this is last time, last time I said, look over there, what am I going to do? I was going to go get some salt. I was going to go make some salt. I was convinced that I was going to go make some salt, and that was a brilliant idea. But you know what? I, I have gotten quite the backlash from people that I called friends of mine. Yeah, they're, they're, they're giving me a backlash on it. They say, you can't do that. So now I'm questioning myself. So now I'm thinking I'm going to hold off for a little bit. Because we have brew being made, and that is about a, almost $100,000 a day. We've got manure that we're going to put in the BGA. We have got a huge coffee crop coming up. Coffee is big bucks. So I'm going to wait until after this next harvesting season because I don't know if I should if I should show you. I, well, I suppose I could uh, stop here for a second, run and show you. I suppose I could. Yeah, I mean, I got to tell you what I, I got. I got to show you what I did and not just tell you. You know what kind of like one of those things? I got to show you what I did, not just tell you what I did. Does that make sense? So I want to show you what I did, and I want to wait until the morning, and we'll do it. The only thing I'm going to do is at midnight, I want to, I want to see this money situation again, because leasing land is $17,678 a day is what it's going to cost us to lease the fields. And all these great people that said something, you know, like when you had that property income, that doesn't, that doesn't come right there. That's just giving you a total of what you have made throughout the day. So all I really have is the property maintenance expense and the loan interest 
and the leasing costs. That's all I have. So any other money than that should just be um, taken care of during the day. So I don't know where that money came from. I've tried to I've tried to um, work with it. I tried to find out why. I went through the books. I still can't find out why. I, I I'm still puzzled. I whoops, oops, come on. There you go. Uh, I have no idea. I have no idea. Zeke, Zeke down the store thought, well, was that when you were renting that equipment? No, that was before that. That was days before that. I only rented it less than an hour, and I paid the initial leasing cost when I picked it up. So I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, what I'm going to show you now is I'm going to show you our, um, well, no, I, no, I can't do that either. Because that, that'll give it away. Oh, crap. I, you know what? I'll tell you what. Let me stop the tractor here. I'll take a little break. It's 7.08. I got plenty of time. I'll turn it off. I can finish this in the dark. I just got a little section there left, and then Sophie is almost wrapping it up, and the plowing's almost wrapping it up. So let's just go for a little gander. Let's just go for a little walkabout, you know? Let's go for a little walkabout through the farm. Oh, it's a beautiful sunset. It's 58 degrees outside here. Oh, it's absolutely a beautiful day. Animals are pretty taken care of. I don't have much to do about that. I was contemplating each night taking manure to the uh, BGA, but then I thought, I'm not going to do it every day, maybe every season. You know, maybe at the end of autumn here, I'll do it because, uh, I mean, it's a lot to set the conveyors up and get everything up and running. So I got that going. Combines are both back here. Nicholson Farm's going to get them serviced and uh, cleaned up for the next harvest, which will be our wheat, barley, mustard, and coffee. That'll come up uh, in the spring. So I'm hoping, what do we got? Today, uh, you're going to see this today after Halloween, so I hope you had a good Halloween. Hey, hey, thanks for stopping by here the day after Halloween. Hope you had a good Halloween. Hope you're stealing all your kids' candy. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm hoping we got 21 days. 21 days. So, I'm hoping to get through this year and through next year at least. Three-day seasons, I, th I think I can do it. I, th I think I can do it. That's my goal. I've got a lot. i got to tell you what. i got a lot. I got a lot of videos to do. But I want to because I'm having way too much fun on here, and I'm having way too much fun on our RV, too. So right across the, uh, the north edge of the farm here, the Holy Buckets Farm, is Field 44, which we own. Okay. Now, when I was looking at fields to purchase with that $1.6 I thought to myself, Self, you know, right across the farm here seems like a logical place to get a field. Yeah, to get a field. So I bought some land. And I uh, decided to. Oh, where am I going? I'm going the wrong way. I gotta go north. <laughs> I gotta go north yet. Okay, 44 is just north of the farm. So I was thinking to myself, self, I gotta get a field. I gotta get a field. And I want one close to the farm, right next to the farm, and I want good acreage that I can have some fun. So I got myself a field. I got myself a field. This is my field. And that isn't that a good-looking field. That is a good-looking field. Yeah, so part of that money, too, came from Zeke helping me out because he was able to plow this up, and then I had Sarge um, I had Sarge cultivate it. But this is my field. Nice-sized field. So, actually, this here, looking at the map, is 23, 22, 20, and 20, 20, 21, 22, and 23. This is what this field is right here. So I, I bought all the parcels of land, and I made it one field. I cut down some trees, took up some roads, made it all one field. We got it limed, we got it fertilized, we got it uh, plowed, and we got it cultivated. So that part of that money went from Zeke. I think I still owe Zeke eight thousand bucks, to be honest with you. So I'm down to like sixty-two now as the labor costs keep going down. But if you go into the soil composition, it looks kind of funky. It looks kind of funky because this was oil seed. No, this was growing sun soybeans. This was oil seed radish. So my fertilization is way off. But I have two stages on the rest of it. So I'll just spray it, and it will be good to go in that department. So when you figure it out, I spent 173 on this, 13928, 143.22, 252.512. So I bought those four fields, and made it in one. I also bought field 43 for 345.904, and I bought 26 for 486.668. All that equals up to uh, 1 million five hundred and thirty-eight thousand eight hundred and ten bucks. Hence the $87,000 left over minus what I paid Zeke, and I still owe Zeke. So that's the plan. That, that's what we did. So 4, 3, 2, and 1 is rented, of course. We own the rest, plus we own 40 and 11 down here. 14 is rented. So we've got a total of 15 fields, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We got 15 fields. We have a four crop rotation. We have a four crop rotation. And that looks just like this. So as you can see, we have rotation A, we have rotation B, rotation C, rotation D. Rotation A, cotton, coffee, corn, mustard. B, corn, wheat, cotton, barley. C, cotton, mustard, corn, wheat. D, corn, barley, cotton, mustard. So in the spring, we only plant two crops, cotton and coffee, or organic cotton and coffee. And in the fall, we plant all four crops. So there you can see the fields are assigned. So each rotation has three fields, except for A, B, and C, which has four fields because I have 15 fields. So if I get one more field, I need a D rotation in there. So that tells me exactly what we're going to plant. So right now you see wheat on 52. I'm planting wheat on 52. And Sophie is planting wheat on, on three. So we have a lot of planting to do in the next day. Wheat, I have four days to plant. Coffee, barley, and mustard, I have one day to plant. So tomorrow is going to be a busy day. That's why we thought, let's get a jump start on the wheat tonight because that will save us some time for the, uh, for the future. So that kind of gets you all caught up in what we've been doing. That, that, I tell you what, it, we got the corn done. The corn is in the silo. We've been doing field work, and we've been doing planting, and I had to hire Zeke with some of his equipment to come help out because I would, I would have never have got anywhere. I mean, he had a big tractor, big plow. He went down to that 20, this field here I bought, 26, which was... Which was um, withered crop and then it had weeds all over the freaking place and it was just absolutely disgusting so he went down there with his plow and got that done and then we've been working on this so I had to rent a little um t-rex thing i took down some trees and then we had to plow up all the uh, fields together and make it nice oh so I, I like it that's what we did so with that said i better get back to my tractor i'm going to finish that wheat planting tonight we've got uh, like i said we've got the uh, oh look at that Look at that, Sarge is already taking a break. He forgot his helmet or something. He has trouble getting turned around down there in the corner. But uh, Kiwi is going to beat heck, and Sophie is on a couple last passes. So we're going to get all this stuff wrapped up tomorrow, and then early tomorrow morning, um, we're going we're gonna to keep going. I, I still have two more wheat fields to plant, and they would be, what do I have? What wheat fields do I have? I have um, 43 and... 43 and the big one that I was just at the one I made so I got those two fields to plant of wheat yet I think I'm gonna hold off I'm gonna get the other stuff in the ground because I still have two more days of wheat yeah we gotta switch the cedars over and do that but it's okay so we'll get a lot of bunch of planting done tomorrow I'm gonna check the contract board I, I let's see oh yeah I can get three planters going I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna drive the planter I'm gonna drive the big one we'll put Sophie and we'll put granny in each planter and we'll just go to town Sarge and we can keep up on the on the field work if we have any and kind of go from there i think all our field work is pretty good um soil composition wise we, we, had, we had to plow this one so if i take away the seed and the wheat yeah we got two three one two three is good 25 is good yeah all these are good so we don't have to worry 11 and 40 yeah so we don't have to worry about any plowing that, that was kind of the good thing about getting all that plowing done in the first year there uh we we, we can just focus i had a lime 26 and i had a lime no, 26 was the only one I limed. No, I had to lime 20, 26 was the only field that I had to lime, I think. Oh, and I limed the big one, the one that we made. So I limed both of those. But I'm going to finish up this. I'm, I, I'm, I'm getting pretty close to being done. And then tomorrow morning, we are going to regroup. And we are going to cut the plan. And we are going to tackle it hard. And, uh, oh, no. No, I want, I want the, I want the. We're going to tackle it hard. And we're going to go to beat heck. Yeah, we're going to go to beat heck. Like I said, I just got this little pie shape here to finish. I can get that done in no problem. 7.16 at night. It's staying a little lighter at, at, later at night, though. It, well, no. I mean, it's, I mean, I meant to say it's getting darker. You know, as the autumn is falling in here towards winter, it's getting darker in a hurry. So it doesn't stay real real light out real late. But um, we'll get our best shot. So we're going to finish up these three fields that we're working on. We'll regroup in the morning. I might see you at midnight just to look and see what the money does. I'm kind of curious now off the top of my head. And um, we'll kind of go from there. But anyway, thanks for stopping today. Hope you had a great Halloween. Uh, new week. Hope you enjoy the week. Stay safe. And um, cheers, my friends. We'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning. 619 in the morning, this late autumn day. What a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, the money thing was weird last night. I had 60000 in there when I hit midnight. 
and I went down to negative 16. $76,000 it took for me. Loan interest was 25. The uh, property income and property maintenance was a wash. So 25 plus the leasing cost of 18, uh, $33,000. No, $43,000. That's all I should have paid is $43,000, but it took out 76. I can't figure it out. I can't figure it out. Anyways, we got the uh, we've got the uh, planting done in field 52. I finished that. I moved the cedar over to 51. And Sophie finished on field two and moved it over to field four. So I'm going to have her start planting coffee on field four. And I'm going to have Granny start planting coffee on 51. The only thing about 51 is, matter of fact, we should run over there real quick. I should give it a shot before Granny gets up and gets going. Yeah, let's do that. Let's run over there real quick. Because 51 has oil seed radish on it. And I suppose technically I should get a tractor and the cultivator hooked up and start cultivating it in in front of in front of granny but if i can just seed right into it that would save some time i don't know what the oil oil, oil ugh, but the holy crap look at that our wheat is already up that's a good sign that's a good sign yeah see i don't know if i can just plant right into this it's still growing but you don't harvest oil seed radish um this field is going to be 100 percent fertilized now so that's a good sign so this field should yield pretty good coffee being that it hasn't been touched in uh, in the year so I'm hoping that's kind of that's kind of a bonus. I don't know. We'll give it a shot here. I'm gonna I'm gonna start passing up here. I got the thing all well, got the thing all lined up. I'm just gonna make this pass here in this border. I haven't heard from the sawmill what they want to do with this property yet, but the hell of them. I'm done with them. So what I'm gonna do is I want to make a nice straight line to go up here. So let's do a let's do a line here. I'm gonna put the lines on just so I can see what's going. Okay, we got that going. Let's see, let's just turn the tractor just a little bit that way. There you go. Oh yeah, see, it's not gonna plow in the... I didn't drive far enough. So it's not gonna plow in the oil seed radish, is it? I have to, um, I have to plow that in, don't I? I have to plow that in, I bet. Well, let's just do an experiment here. Let's just... Whoa! I think I was sliding down the hill there. Holy buckets. Yeah, because it's not going to... Oh, no, it is doing it. It is doing it. Okay, I just must have been too far over. Um, I guess it is doing it. So it will do that. So that'll save me an extra step. Okay, back to this. So that's going to work. I'm going to leave this here. Well, as a matter of fact, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this first um, couple passes up and down so that we have a border here so so Granny knows where to go and where not to go. It's going to be a tough going up this hill here. But that'll work. This will be coffee. So if I go up and come back down, this will be coffee field here. I am taking a little extra of their field, but you know what? I don't care. For the pain and suffering that they put me through, ah, screw them. I don't care. I got my Mountain Dew right next to me. I got a bacon sandwich sitting here. I'm a happy camper. Except the problem is, and anybody noticed that before I did, you get you get you get a hundred dollars. Uh, except that <laughs> I'm planting wheat. Ah, son of a gun! I forgot to get the planter switched over. Oh, Jesus! All right, got that all worked out. Holy crap! I'm a terrible farmer. So we got a little headland here, and then where Granny is going back and forth here on field 51 with the coffee planting oh my goodness i'm excited hey granny she's all better now she had she had a little spa day got a little granny time relaxed look at that it's working perfectly that's working perfectly good coffee 100 percent fertilized i love it i love it granny's such a good tractor driver she is she is a good tractor driver give her a spa a bottle of rum and she is uh, gung ho to go again. Holy crap, right? Oh, back up. There you go. Oh, down. Got the ponytail going on today and everything. Awesome. All right, Granny, you have fun. So, Granny is doing that. Sophie is up on field four, the big one, getting coffee planted in there. Now, I got to be honest with you, my friends. Where, am I, where in the hell is my farm? Um, oh, I got to go up this way. <laughs> 
I don't even know where my farm is. Hey, Granny, you want to race? Oh, crap. Look at the wheat. Good quality wheat right here. That's some good. There's a bug flying in my face. Get out of my face, bug. Uh, wheat. Yep. Perfectly good wheat. Now, I thought that was pretty much uh, fertilized. Oh, no, maybe that was one of the ones that didn't. Um, no, we'll have to get a, we'll have to get that one sprayed. So that's one of the ones we'll have to spray. Matter of fact, I could probably uh, have Kiwi come down here and spray this one. I could do it by the airplane, too, I suppose. Hey, matter of fact, I should check the, uh, what's going on today of lime. Everybody, if everybody would let me do my lime and, uh, there's a bug. Ah, one of those little natty bug things. God, they pissed me off. Uh, lime. Silage. Oh, I don't have any silage. 144,000 liters of silage for 21 bucks. Uh, transporting fertilizer. Well, now, uh, one fertilizing contract on 48. And the rest is cultivating. Okay. Okay. It is only 7 o'clock in the morning. Some people aren't getting quite, aren't getting up yet. So, here's what we should do then. Um, coffee in 51. Coffee in 4. And according to our planting calendar, we have coffee in 24, the new field that we bought. Um, you know what? That's got corn in it. Doesn't it? No. 24. 43 has got... 43 has got corn in it. 43 is still growing. Oh, crap. I forgot about that. 43. Why isn't corn not ready yet? Um, in 43. Yeah, we don't have anything. No, we don't have anything. In, huh. That corn is not ready to be... You know what I could do? I could chaff that. I could chaff that field. What would I do with the chaff, though? I could put it in a bunker. I could take... I don't know. Take it to the BGA. How much chaff am I going to get out of there? Yeah, I forgot about that when I bought that. There was corn in there. Oh, that's dumb. That's dumb. 24 is oilseed radish. Um, yeah, according to our thing, we got... Uh, wheat in 43, so we have time to do that. We got coffee in 24 so my plan was i was going to go up and with the planter and get that ready to go for coffee and go up there and plant 24 i should probably do that now what i was thinking about doing i was talking to zeke down to the dealership and i was zeke just uh it just, he just got a hold of the versatile line oh yeah there's our corn he just got a hold of versatile so he is a new uh, local dealer for versatile and i'm telling you what I, I was thinking about this. We have got our two little Massey Ferguson 1200 tractors, and we've got the little 3.7 meter plows, right? I mean, it takes us forever to do anything. Still growing. Huh, I forgot about that. I, that field's got corn in there when I bought that. So, man, wouldn't it be nice to have a versatile in a bit, nice big plow? I mean, it would be nice. So Zeke's going to send a guy down here, his shop manager. Not a shop manager, his a sales manager. And they're going to look at my two 1200s and my two plows and see if there's a deal to be made on a versatile. Now, the problem is I don't have much money. I don't have much money at all. I've got $20,000 in the bank. The brewery, well, I haven't checked the brewery this morning. How are we doing there? Is that 60%. So sometime this afternoon, they will be full of, oh, we got to get some water in there too. Oh, crap. we got all kinds of things to do. Um, so you get water in the brewery. Oh, so I'm thinking... Um, I don't know. I could teach. What, what would I do, though? If I, if I have kiwi when fertilizing, if Sarge ran this thing, you know what I should do? I'm just going to go all. Do I have any seed in here? Um, I have a little bit of seed. I should get some seed. Um, I should order a couple pallets of seed. I got liquid fertilizer for that thing and get that thing up and running. We'll start get that thing planted, too. And then I can talk to Zeke what he wants to do about the other stuff. But, um, yeah, let me get some, let me get some fertilizer. And uh, we'll get that planter up and going, and I'll go up to, to uh, 24. I'll get that thing started. And then, um, I don't know, we'll see if Sarge can drive a, uh, a planter today. All right, I drove it up here. I was just thinking to myself that um, this thing should be fully fertilized, but it's not because this, I forgot. Oh, it doesn't. Um, because my plant, this planter does not fertilize at the same time. But I'm wondering... See, now it says 36, 44. If I plant this, will it count as a second fertilizing with these oilseed radish there or not? Um, see, it's not, is it? 65%. Oh, is it? Oh, it is. Okay, that's what, that's what I was hoping for. Okay. So now if I did have a... Well, no, I don't think you can fertilize twice at one time. Okay. 
So that's going to work there. Yeah, I forgot. This thing does not um, does not fertilize. So I can't get my cover back on. My cover won't go back on for some odd reason. So I wonder if I should start this. I probably should start this. I got things I want to do now. I want to get Sarge over here because um, I'll get the line all set up for him. I want to get um, I want to get uh, water down to the brewery. I want to talk with Zeke. Wait, no. Auto with. I want to talk to Zeke about what he thinks I should do there. I want to go look at a versatile. I kind of have a craving to go look at a versatile, to be honest with you. But I don't know where I'm going to get the money. I, I don't have the money. I'm maxed out on my loan. I only have $19,000 in the bank, which is going to be dwindling down as we go on here with seed, fertilizer, and labor costs. So I'm telling you, I'm kind of in a pickle now. I put myself in a pickle. I gambled all I had on this up upcoming crop, to be honest with you. I did. I think I'll make a. I think I'll make a round here. I'll make a. I'll make a pass around the field. We're not trying to be as exact as we. I was trying to be an RRV, but still somewhat. This is boy. This thing works out pretty good. Nine miles an hour on this nice new big Massey Ferguson. I love this tractor. Absolutely love this tractor. So today is a full day of planting, and here's what I'm trying to figure out, my friends. Uh, we got a full day of planting. I want to show as much planting as I can because uh, I don't want to spend three, four episodes doing all this planting because I want to try to get enough uh, done here before FS22 and get some, get this whole year done is my plan. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Vern? So I got to kind of budget my time here and I got to figure out what I'm going to do. I need to get water to the brewery, talk to Zeke about tractors. I wonder if I should lease another tractor. I don't have I don't have the money for that either. But if I went and um, if I went and oh, this is gonna carry me over a little bit. I might as well do it. I might as well just plant a little coffee in the grass, huh? Plant a little coffee in the grass, then I can keep it all lined up. Might as well. We'll plant a little coffee in the grass. So yeah, actually I should have extended this field out. To be honest with you, yeah, I should have. I have a. Oh my gosh, I could get another uh, 12, 16 rows. Why didn't I do that? Why haven't I ever done that before? So, I, I, I don't know. I could go sell the beer and lease a tractor and a planter, and I could go out and start planting because you think about it, I got 15 fields to plant. We planted two, that's 13. Uh, Granny's working on one, that's 12. Sophie's working on one, that's 11. I'm working on this one, that's 10. So, there's still nine fields to go yet nine fields to plant yet now granted they're not gigantic granted i don't need a 8200 row planter to get it done in the in today i don't i mean three planters i got three planters going for crying out loud that's quite a bit plus i gotta get that damn corn harvested so i can get that planted with wheat and this bug is still in my face pissing me off i tell you you just can't win you just can't win i don't need to make a pass down here because um yeah, we'll go back down this way, and then I will um, make another round on the outside there back towards where I'll meet um, Sarge. Sarge all excited. He thinks he's moving up in the world. He thinks he's getting promoted. Yep. He thinks he's getting promoted, and then Kiwi's like, ah no, you're not. I, I've, I've been doing that for the whole year. Oh, turn it off. There we go. So, there's that bug. Oh, I almost, oh. I think I got him. I think I got him. I think I got him. I think I squished him. I squished him like the bug he is. So yeah, I mean, even this field's a nice sized field, but I'm planting at nine miles an hour. I mean, this is not gonna take, a, this is not gonna take that long. So I think today will just be a planting day. We'll probably uh, have to turn on some music here and see how things go, unless something exciting happens. I can get water down to the brewery. And I don't have money to automatically fill it, so I'll have to hook up the uh, trailer from the, at the farm, fill it up in the, in the uh, pond and go down there and do that. I don't know, I don't, well, it costs money to fill up i mean look at this i mean it's crazy how much water costs if i was to um look at that nineteen thousand nine hundred and four dollars for thirty nine thousand eight hundred and nine well that's all the money i have so that's only for forty thousand so i'm still short so i get free water from the pond so i just fill up the tanker and haul it down there i'll go i'll do that i'll do that um 
Maybe maybe we'll turn the music on. We'll speed everything up here for a while. Uh, super fast speed. <laughs> and I'll go I'll go down to the brewery. Um, I'm not going to sell it until it becomes full this afternoon. But I got to get water in there so we don't lose the uh, the beer making process. We're at what 60 percent. So I think it's usually uh, in the afternoon, right? Is it in the afternoon when I uh, I go pick up the beer and sell it? It's like almost every afternoon. Yeah, I think that's kind of the way it is. So we'll go do that. But uh, the other thing is I still haven't decided on. I I still haven't decided on. I, I am really tempted to go put some diesel fuel into the, uh, into the salt making thing. Some people are telling me not to. Some people are actually, you know what? Jeremy actually called me golf cart jockey. Yep. Said you're gonna do that. You are. You're acting like golf cart jockey. I, I, don't, I think that's kind of a compliment in some regards because uh, he's a hell of a nice guy and I like him. But uh, it does seem a little shady. So maybe I should just barrel it out. I did it once. I made some money. So I don't know. I was I was all gung ho, and then I uh, went down to the Massey Ferguson dealership and had coffee with Zeke, and he started chewing my ass. I'm like, come on, man, really? Haven't you ever done something like that before in your life? So I don't know. It's still a possibility. I can't remember. I have to go back and look and exactly see how much money I made off of it. I mean, it wasn't millions of dollars, was it? I can't remember. I'll have to go back and look. But anyways, uh, yeah, we'll do that. And uh, maybe turn the tunes on here and uh, Sarge will come out. And we'll see how it goes, my friends. sitting in a new versatile 450 look at this puppy isn't that nice look at that oh that's dandy I, I i called zeke and i said you know all my people are out planting uh i want to go do something there's a contract local farmer wants me to do to go uh, cultivate his field seven which is full of weeds i said how would you feel about me demonstrate demoing one of your uh, new versatiles he said you go right ahead my friend so i found myself a cultivator here at zeke's I, I, i'm not buying anything I'm not buying anything. I'm just doing some demoing. And I said, I, I, I want to I demo this. So I'm going to go do Field 7, a contract on Field 7 to cultivate. Now, as you probably saw, Sarge finished 24. Got the coffee planted in there. He moved over to 20, 44. That's mustard. So you probably saw him do that. And now he finished that one. Now he's over on Field 2 doing barley. Uh, Granny finished 51 and is now doing... Uh, what's on 49? I can't. Uh, 49 is um, barley, so they're both doing barley. That is the second time I have done that. Forgot to change screens, and then just kept talking with the map screen up there. And then I go to edit and realize, oh crap, I'm an idiot. So yeah, so they're both doing, they're both doing barley. And maybe you saw that I was in the airplane. I did field 11. That is actually our field, uh, running um, alongside those uh, buildings. Yeah, that had no fertilizer state on there, so I wanted to do field 11 and go with it. But as I am up here on field 7, 
I am demoing uh, this awesome versatile tractor here, which I gotta learn how to drive yet, even though um, I actually have driven a versatile. Last couple of years I've been driving versatiles for spring work. Um, but anyways, yeah, so this is an awesome tractor. I tell you what, uh, I think Zeke should just give me the bottom bargain price, the good friend price. Look at that, I mean, this is exactly what I need. Ooh, that's just fancy. It's just fancy, dancy, 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 fancy. But yeah, I should have one of these. I, I really should. So I'm demoing this, um, demoing the cultivator and doing a contract at the same time. I, I got I got a pretty good job there, don't I? I got a pretty good job, but it works pretty good. Oh crap, my line is way off here. Why is my line way off? Um, not to fix that. Zeke, good tractor, but the GPS on it sucks. But yeah, so we got a lot of planting going on. I got 11 fertilized, so I feel good about that. At least it's got one fertilizing before it being planted. I'll probably plant it with uh, one of the uh, cedars so I can get an extra state of fertilizer on there. I have a wish list of equipment now. I, I really do. And now I'm, I'm, I'm broke. I'm maxed out on my loan. I'm maxed out on credit cards. Sophie's ready to walk off with a bigger weeder. I've got, I've got issues. I've got issues. But I'm hoping and praying that when this coffee harvest hits here now we're gonna we're gonna be doing good and i'm still i'm still on the fence about the, about the diesel i i should yeah why is that way over there oh my my thing is off look at that it's it's off oh crap i'll get down to the end i'll have to do it oh yeah i'm way on the inside here um yeah so i'm still on the fence about that salt thing i, I should just do the damn salt thing i i should but I guess we'll leave it there. I'm, I'm, out, I'm getting a little long here today, so I want to thank you all for coming and hanging out with me. I sincerely appreciate that. Um, have a great Monday. Stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, keep them between the ditches, my friends. Zeke, buy me this tractor. So long.